Hello everyone, it's me, David Klopic, and a few minutes ago I was in the gym doing some exercise, and now I'm back, and today I decided to go to fanfiction.net to find some very interesting K on fanfiction featuring boys as OCs, original character by the way. Anyways, we I chose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fanfictions, out of one is my fanfiction, which I will show you a bit of it. And let's get started. I will read some bits from there, and I will and I will be telling you what is it all about. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we have Mugi no Suki. A boy from Mugi's past visits her in Sakuragaoka High. Is he going to change Mugi? Mugi XOC complete. It has Three chapters, 3000 words, and yeah. And then you have this disclaimer, I do not own K on the red. Okay, we know, already know that. Okay, I hope you guys find this fi fanfic better than my previous one. But I never read on a of your fanfics, so whatever. Uh, and now it gives us like, we are like a weeaboos or something. It says, Arigato, thank you. Konnichiwa, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Anyways, let's get into this thing once and for all. Okay, so basically what in this fanfiction we have there's a boy called um kazuya yeah kazuya i don't know what is his surname kazuya is the friend of tsumugi I th so this first chapter as you can see doesn't look very long it's just a few scroll downs until you get to this all reviews will be appreciated then we have confessions the second chapter where basically those two go out on some sort of date and when he tries to kiss her she's like backing off and shit like i don't want to do it and he says kazuya was unable to hold his feelings any longer to to mugi san he muttered mugi looked at him he places and light under her chin tilted her head upwards he learned leaned in for a kiss mugi's cheeks turned red and didn't know what to do when their faces were only mere inches apart mugi turned away kazuya kun i don't think i'm ready yet uh, I'm sorry. So basically, I already read this, but uh, just in case you show you something. Anyways, there's a bit of a lame ending, but here is greater to finally something come. And after all, basically, when they, when he wants to take her home, she says that she doesn't want to do it. She loves the light music club the most. So um, yeah, basically, I can I say that she made the right choice, or maybe she didn't. I think that she gave a right choice because they are friends that she know the most but she, she didn't make a right choice because it was a boy. I hope she will get a boyfriend soon and maybe something will go out of hand. And basically she doesn't love as much as she loved the light music club. So yeah, I cannot accept her his offer and yeah. But this guy was insanely in love with her so yeah. Okay. Alright then, so that's the end. It is kinda drawn out and lame. Yeah, you are right. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the reviews here. So, why does it have to be a sad end? Well, not my right to criticize like that. Great story. How you were able to make a romance fanfic based on an innocent girl like the KO members. It gave me inspiration to write one like this too. Good job. Oh, so this guy or girl i don't know got an inspiration okay this is the best and also the saddest fanfic i ever read please continue to write more um this story is great could you write more about him coupling with other characters by the way this was my favorite part of all mugi chan please don't say yes and yeah okay okay too lazy to log in anyways i would like to correct i don't find mugi yuri or anything it's just that she has been living in this rich family for her past life and she enjoys living a carefree life with the rest Anyways, I couldn't believe someone made a own story out of such an innocent anime. G good job, Gambate. This guy literally used Japanese 
in in their language seriously that doesn't make sense okay anyways i like your story development on its own it's got a nice slow pace however your idea on Mugi is incorrect if you notice in the anime she's close to being a lesbian showing hints at sawako and sometimes yui she also notices the virgin yuri that is mio's and ritsu's relationship it's just something i noticed but if you want Mugi to be straight and i don't she's cuter as a lesbian so be it well it is true to be honest but come on dude why why are you why, why are you pointing it out i mean most people might already know that mugi is a lesbian kind of okay another story that story is better and the idea is good too although there are many stories like this is better than the yuri thing good story so there you have it that's reviews for mugi no suki as well as a fan fiction now we should be getting on to boy in a girl's war <laughs> So now we're going to be reading Boy in a Girl's World. Okay, now that is a very, very creative name. Good job, good job. All right, new to the previously only girls school, you meant girls only school, which recently changed to a co-educational school, Aiko Makenshi has enrolled into SHS, because I, I said Sakuragaka enough times in this on this channel. What changes, challenges, love and sadness await him? But he only has three chapters. <laughs> Clickbait! Alright, so uh, basically what this is, is that there's a guy called Aiko Makenshi who has been transferred to Sakuragaoka High School, again I said it, and pretty much he's late. Cliche in anime, of course, mostly slice of life anime. So, he runs to the school, and he apologized to Sawako Sensei. What a coincidence. So, um, so he stood up and began to dust himself off and apologize to the teacher what Aiko was previously told was named Sawako Sensei. Yeah, I already said that. Okay, basically, there's a girl who was laughing at this guy. Wait, I wanted started laughing at him, not trying to run with me, up the board rubber and threw it at, at the maniacal girl laughing on the table. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Now apologize to. Okay, you do that again. It'll be detention for a month. Okay, all right. <laughs> Detentions in. I never seen anyone fall in detention. Okay, reads. What 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 is this? What is this? Reads reads you you mean you mean Ritsu, not Ritsu. Maybe you were supposed to fix that, you lazy ass. Because this was made in 2011 and five years later he still hasn't changed it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so basically Ritsu stood up and yeah, then she screamed boo in Aiko's face. And then why it says, the less calling then walking over to him and checking his pulse. Then Aiko passed out. Okay. Alright, I must say that some people are actually really... I don't really know what to say. I don't want to offend anyone. And if I did, then I'm ver very sorry. Okay, so there's... She had blonde, she had blonde hair, blue eyes, and a fair complexion, complex, complexion, I think. She was wearing a stereotypical nurse's outfit, but it had a sexy twist to it. So Mugi it is then. Aiko's vision was still blurred slightly, but his hearing wasn't impaired. Okay, so yeah. Then says, you, Aiko, also have a week's attention. Now that's the part where just, I don't know what to say. Have a week's detention. How many weeks? Two? Three? Four? A year? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Now you could have said you also have a week detention, not weeks detention. See what I mean? Most people on fanfiction do not check their grammar before uploading. Okay, now here goes the next chapter. So this one was called What the the second one is called um <laughs> very creative very very creative 10 out of 10 title of the year okay so uh, makenji please don't stare at her she's a li little odd okay let me a chance she's very ch shy i can see that yeah <laughs> typical okay uh give me a sec ritsu chimed in she has a little bit of a massive sweet tooth Mia Pace found that spoke to Ritsu. Do you always have to over dramatize everything? Yes. <laughs> That's our Ritsu. At least he wrote Ritsu now correctly. Why didn't you go in the back on the first chapter called Wati and just fix the goddamn mistake? 
Or maybe you're just too much of a lazy ass or anything like that. Okay, let's take a look what else do we have. Oh, now they push the minimum mat limit from 4 to 5. Interesting. Okay, that's very interesting. Okay. And then he says he wants to join the club. Plot twist! All six girls in the room stop and stare at him. You know what this means, right, Taiko? Oh, shit. Initiation. Oh, god damn it. I don't want to know at all. I don't want to know. All right, next chapter. Right. Oh, okay, short chapter. My mind's black slow up. This may give up or start a new story. I don't know. I see. Look at this. I have no comment. There are only two reviews, so let's get started. Let's see. Okay. Am I on the only person that despises the use of the... Well, it's not really an actual word, but I can't stand the verb sweat dropped. <laughs> yeah. I know. Nice job for your first fan fiction. But I noticed that you spell Ritsu as Ritsu, unless Ritsu is an OC of yours. And I advise you to make sure that you spell Ritsu right. Exactly, dude. I'm with you. You should fix that ever. But anyways, that should do it for reviews for Boy in a Girl's World, as well as a fanfiction. The next one is very long, so I'm just gonna say briefly about it. So yeah, let's go. Tom, 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 Tom. It's the grand date of the lovebirds. However, the title of this fanfiction is actually different. It's called Nice to be with June. I discussed about it a little in the previous episode of the David Klopich show, so pretty much all I can say is that this was inspiration for me to write the DVD cover and the movie poster. Shit, wrong side. Here we go. It's a bit crumbled, creased and all, but uh, that can be fixed. So anyways, I should give you a bit of a brief story. So pretty much, Satoshi falls in love with June. And pretty much, you know, he felt the romance that happened one time on when he was at the water park and then June was looking at him again like blowing my kiss and all. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened if you scroll down and all. I don't wanna die alone. Now, so here June also feels that someone is in love with her. Like, say so just for a moment I realize that a boy is in love with me. Interesting, really interesting. And then you have <clears throat> all this stuff. So basically they go discuss with the girls what they have to do. After that they go to buy something and this guy is singing It's So Nice To Be With You by Gallery. What an amazing song. It's so nice to be with you. Yeah, uh, you can search it on the YouTube, so don't worry about it. I don't want to get any copyright strikes, okay? Anyways, now they go buying clothes. So it looks awesome. And yeah, then they go on some... They go to uh, Tokyo Cruise on Tokyo Bay, I think. And basically they have all sorts of stuff. Like they eat. And then they... And then June orders a fucking wine. Like, she's still young. I don't know, she had like 15 years old was there. But pretty much now she's a mature lady, actually. I hope that... I hope that she is with Satoshi as well, ha. Huh? Okay, so pretty much you have lots of stuff here. I think that the plot twist starts from the moment when thugs come and invade the ship. Pretty much it says, invading this place. And pretty much he, he gets kicked. And he says, I suck at saving the day, ha, huh, June? Well, as, your, as for your information, yes. But he had balls to do it. And then here's where... Here's where, here's where Kakifly appears in this thing, the writer of the whole thing. Congratulations, you released your imagination to the next level. And pretty much, he comes out and sings the song. Oh, it's so... Yeah, okay. However, these are just... <clears throat> Maybe I can sing this sometimes, but um, it's going to be awesome, dude. Alright, so here we go. Uh, at the end, they just get um, greeted. And it's nice to be with you, the end. He's also the creator of Walcon all over again, so I would like to give him support on anything he writes, because this was one of the best fanfictions, and I didn't even find mistakes in it. There are only two reviews, one of them was written by me. So let's take a look. Okay, here it is. There's me, 
and there's Magna Drake. Drake, I don't know. Okay, finally, something different appeared. Though I'm still seeing Mitsu and Yuzu hints. You mean Yuyazu or whatever. Satoshi X Jun is one and expected pairing. Hey, <laughs> hey, nice work on this. That's basically what he or she said, and this is what I said. Okay, this has to be one of the best KM fanfics I've ever read. How does that sound? Anyways, this is so amazing. So yeah, there you have it. So, stay tuned. I would like to thank to the user Icebat of Valikin RRBZ8 for his suggestion on the t Secret Texters fanfic. I read it yesterday and pretty much I uh, met him. He's a bit older than me, he, he's 18, but oh well, they didn't stop us for chatting all around, no. So basically, here we have the Secret Texter, which was the first k fanfic. As you can see, it says, my first ever k fanfiction. Pretty much he has 13 chapters. Like, seriously, and he has 20 reviews. Interesting. One of them was given by me. And we became real good friends, I think. Um, and I would like to greet him. So, um, hey, how's it going there? So pretty much what this goes is that the girls are in senior. They are seniors already. And there are some boys, of course, again. But it's quite extraordinary. I will tell you the reason. There are five new characters. Three are boys and two are females. So their story, I will go and search for every character so you'll be able to understand. Okay, okay, okay. So there's Story Freud who plays the drums. Uh, that's in chapter four. You will be able to see the underlined or uh, bolded things. So he, they all live in Dem Dentex City. So there's Lang Hikari who is actually with Yui, believe it or not. He's the lead singer. Melu Sakurai is the pianist and secondary guitar. She's female. Sonia Strum is another female and the lead guitar. And Gio Steller is bass guitar. And pretty much you know who's that pairing it? Mio. Even though Mio has a fear of boys, she got pregnant. Spoiler alert. And this guy is on the drums. I mean Tori. So that means that he's with Ritsu. And pretty much, I'm gonna show you something real quick. Okay, so this is his DeviantArt. He puts a lot of polls and of course he mostly does all these amazing covers for CDs. And all the music, of course. I, um, the only thing I gotta say is Tea Time. I thought that the man name is Hokago Tea Time, but okay. I don't have problems with anything, okay? And you have, oh, alright, so you have Megastar, which is the first band, and that band cooperated in this secret texture together with Kaon, and that's somehow really amazing. When we get to the chapter 13, you will see what it, everything has happened to them. So back where we left off, epilogue will happen soon. And here you go. So basically, <clears throat> here's a, Holland then whispered something into Yui's ear. She nodded and the festival was over. School was sent out early for today and tea time went to the club room to talk about their performance. Naraka was there as well as Gio and Tori. Yui went to the roof to meet with Lang Hikari who had an acoustic guitar with him. I think you're supposed to write C with two times but um, I'm not making any complaints okay. All in all I think this fanfiction deserves a fucking medal. Alright so I wrote this song for you Yui-chan. Lan said and Yui blushed and smiled. Lan sings the song called Amazing Day. He sings the song and Yui was enjoying it. After Lang sang it, Yui glumps him and rubbed her cheek on his. Oh yeah, I love that. She chuckles as Lan hugs her back. Accepting a kiss on the lips, Ritsu was called by Tori and he talked with her about the performance that happened. Okay, thank you, Ritsu said and Tori kisses her on the lips. She smiles at Tori and she thanks him again for the necklace. Tori hugs Ritsu. Mio kissed Geo as Mugi served them tea and cake. Tori and Ritsu went back inside the club room. Enjoy, she said and her phone rings. Who is that Mugi senpai? Azusa asks. It's my boyfriend, Mugi said. Naraka speaks her drink up. <laughs> boyfriend? Okay, yes, Mugi said, still smiling. His name is Ginty. 
Yaginti from Death Parade. Yeah, he has a lot of good art out there, so maybe we could take a look at it. All in all, I would really love to suggest you to read this. I will leave the link to this in the description below, as well as his Deviant Art and YouTube channel so you can support him on his projects. So yeah, greetings again. As you can see, there are some arts that he favorited from me, like the Sakura Gaoka cover. This is actually outdated, but oh well. Then you have Jun Suzuki, the movie of Noraka, don't get your tongue in a twist, it's the movie of Noraka Manebe, not Manabe, like, like from Kayon and shit, but that kind of does remind you of her, right? And then you have this. And of course, there are commissions, he really did a lot of commissions there. He probably has a lot of points though, so yeah. Basically, there's Ui with, I think this is Hub, younger brother of Lan, like, it, like they are similar and all. And then you have the commission of the complete Mega Star Band, Tea Time covers, then you have, and there's Brick, who will be paired with Nodaka, believe it or not. Phew, there's quite a lot of things here, so yeah, basically. Let's take a look at what else can we do. And then there's Ritsu, there's Tori, and there is Freya, who is 8. How, how the hell do I know all these names? I guess we had a really long conversation last night and pretty much it was really amazing. So anyways, let's move on to the next fanfiction. Would there be love? G give me a sec. Let's get on with it. Okay, the next one is not going to be the one I said, Sakura Gaoka Sister Schools, because it looks way too long. So instead I'm going to be talking about... Kaon Sakura Gaoka High School, a co-educational school. This guy... ...needs to go back to school where he can actually study English. Like, you can tell by the number of reviews, 73 of them, he, probably most of them are hateful, exception for mine. I just want to be nice. Anyways, basically what this is all about, uh, you can say. So, the story setting is in the Sakura Gaoka High School, how am I going to say that? Where the school wants to test if the school could be a co-educational, so seven boys were chosen to test it out. The boys are his OCs, so yeah, enjoy the story. The writing of the story will be like a playstyle writing hope people don't mind. That's how I write too, so to be honest. Well, yeah, okay. Okay, so basically, girls come out and then they hear about, hey guys, did you hear? This guy really made a lot of mistakes and he hasn't even fixed them. That's and with that we're later going to read his previews and yeah, that's going to be fun. Kind of. Okay, so basically, here what? Seems like school is turning it into a co-educational. What is school turning into something? Something... Never mind, that, that grammar is killing me. Alright, so now like a we're in the same class. Okay, Taurus, Taurus. Yeah, grammar. Best grammar of 2016. Okay, uh, when did he upload this? Uh, 2011. Most of the K-On! fanfictions were uploaded in 2011, exception for mine, which is uploaded now. Okay, so anyways, let's see what else we get. So basically, they are this. So this is how they look like, and you can take a look, look at this. <coughs> just, just look at this. Mio, ugly boy, Azusa, fat boy, Ritsu, zit face kid, Nodaka, nerdy boy, and Yui, short kid. Okay. And then they establish what, where, and why. Our boy is coming in which class, and basically there is Junpei Fujibayashi. Then you have Shuchi Koma. He says, "Just don't talk to me, and we'll get along just fine." And I was like, "Whoa, what an asshole!" Okay, and then you have oh shite, oh shite, oh shite. And then it comes here comes Daisuke Takahara. Create very, very creative name. Ten out of the character of the year. So basically, this guy is in class two two and. Yeah, he's really, he says that he's very cute. And you can guess he's a shy kid. So he sits next to Hirasawa. Since it's class 2-2, two, two, then that definitely by process of elimination, that could be Ui. Ui. And then he receives a pencil and says, I finally talked to a girl. This is the best day of my entire life. What can I say? But that's not over yet. What's the worst thing? There are 
10 with the exception of the author 9 chapters lunchtime after school night time k on boys bio extra chapter so that's 8 basically you were supposed to put this at the beginning okay character description okay and then he mentions some, or he or she mentions somewhere that some of these characters one of these characters actually have why uh, I mean to say yellow eyes so thing so guys are like um, saying that this guy has a liver failure guys don't give him tape he's trying his best to to write and that's not the and that's not all then you have the answer part two where he where okay Keiichi asks Ui to be with him and then she says like uh, I'm sorry but I just don't feel the same way and pretty much let's take a look down there well that's it for the channel I really I really am trying my best here I'm kind of losing ideas but I'll keep on trying so I can make a second season if I can second season okay and I really I'm, and I'm really sorry I lost the OCC of K on characters but I'll try harder next time to keep the OCC OCC okay whatever okay now here goes the fun part here goes the fun part. The reviews. 73 goddamn reviews. There's my review. So yeah, I said that some people are struggle to understand this fanfic, so... No, I meant, didn't mean to say some people, I didn't say most people struggle to understand this fanfic. Okay, and then you have these k -on hate comments. So here, here's one for instance. k -on is shit. Get the hell out of this site. People like you have nothing but a sad life that nobody will care for you ranting and you considering your opinions about all else. Fuck you. You are as bad as a YouTube commenter. I mean, who doesn't watch it doesn't have a soul. No, seriously. It's about friendship and all. But guys, the... Never mind. Never mind. Just forget what I said. Also, I don't praise my waifu as a goddess. I praise her as a way of life. Waifu. I heard waifu there everywhere. Let's see another case. Okay, so I rather enjoy your fix. So this guy, like, see all the spam size of 73 of these all, including my the 73, and without it is 72. Then you have Kaon is shit. Again, another comment says Kaon is shit. No, Kaon is not shit. Like, if you think that Kaon is shit, then you are shit yourself. Okay, come on, fuck you. We all know your pathetic Kaon masturbating losers who had his feelings hurt when your precious Kaon characters are dating someone other than you. <sighs> Epic facepalm right there. Keep a fantasizing sorry weeaboo who will be no success in life. In fact, end it right now. <laughs> I, I, I love when I read these hate comments. They make me laugh. Like, seriously, those guys are so losers themselves. Let's take a look at this idiot who is apparently, ladies and gentlemen, all of his comments begin with fuck you. Seriously, every comment starts with fuck you. One, two, three... This is a duplicate, by the way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On all 10 chapters. So, how about take your always OC crap to fiction press? Your fictional self can fuck the K-On girls there. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so Mio doesn't like boys, and yet you pair up with a boy? Oh sure, that will cure her of her fear. There are so many things I want to do, I, I do to I want to shoot you, then throw you in a river. I want to report this somehow. I want to report everything. Oh, okay. I guess it is anonymous after all. You fucking idiots. You guys don't know what means quality writing. Okay, this wasn't really quality writing, but oh well. All right, so pretty much there's a lot of these guys, and but here's some really interesting. Here's Tasty Chainsaws, like example. He or she made the biggest review, and at the end he again says, "Fuck you." Why are you telling him to fuck himself or herself? I don't know. Seriously, this guy, like holy god. And then you have, and then you have Damon McRae, like holy. Damn it. And Genkin Collective, yeah. Then you have this. Okay, this is a good comment. Okay, so here's another hate comment. Holy shit, this guy really got a lot of hate. Guy or girl. There's Tarasp. 
And there you have Professor Rude. Yeah, you are rude. Okay, I'm under the impression those are all reviews for the author. You wrote for this story using various anonymous accounts to hide just how fucking awful this story is. Excuse me, Mr. Professor Rude or whatever, Tasty Chainsaws. Did he or she say at the beginning... Okay, those other reviews, I for sure did not write them, wrote them this... I did not wrote them. Okay. Now, even at the author section, there are grammatical mistakes. I'm sorry, dude, but I can't help it. So, I, so he said that he didn't write them. This is the only account the, he has on this website. So basically, I guess those guys are lying after all. You have my support, mate. Just fix the goddamn grammar, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Before I end this episode of the David Kulopi show, I just wanted to tell you that I'm currently writing Sakura Gaoka, as I told you in the previous episodes, I think. So pretty much, I'm currently setting a chapter 2, so there's a bit of foreword. You can read if you want to, but I suggest you, you read it. Some cast, of course, and then you have the chapter 1, which is already on Deviantar and fanfiction, so I would really love to get some suggestions. I will leave down the link to DeviantArt where the journal is, and if you have DeviantArt, you can leave the suggestions there. So yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff you can read here, and uh, I, I hope you will be able to see everything. And then you have New Friends and Light Music Club. It's going to be amazing. As you can see, I'm currently writing this sentence. So that's the spirit. Now, next student. Anyways guys, that should do it for this episode of the show Dark Profit. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, then please like this video and before you dislike it, just to let you know that I need a lot of support in order to be a bit more successful. If not as popular as PewDiePie, I would like to at least have support. So hit the like button, subscribe to this channel to get more and see you all next time.